So now let's talk about numbers in Haskell. So to get started, let's delete everything under main equals do, and let's use our print function. Now remember, if we're printing like a single number, four, we could just do print space four, five, six. But if we want to print uh, like a math operation like addition, we want to use these parentheses. So uh, in Haskell, you could do a basic math operation like five plus six. Let's save that. Go over to the WinGHCI, clear it, and we're going to run it, reload and run. And 5 plus 6 is, of course, 11. Um, now, in ad addition to addition, right, we could also do print 5 minus 6, which is negative 1. Multiplication in Haskell. Uh, multiplication, to get that, you're going to use the asterisk symbol. So 5 asterisk 6 is 5 times 6. And division in Haskell would be 5, and it's going to be the forward slash. That's how you get division in Haskell. So we're going to print out 5 plus 6, then 5 minus 6, then 5 times 6, then 5 divided by 6. Control S to save. Win GHCI, refresh, and run it. And we get, of course, 11 minus would give us negative 1, times is 30, and division gives us this thing. Uh, so Control S to clear it. Back we go to VS Code. So that's our basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And you could add a decimal onto this, like 6.2, and it will still save that it'll still work right so you can add a decimal number to an integer and it works fine so let's head over here refresh and you'll see 11.2 and 31 and that does work out and it converts the answer to a decimal number or a double or a float all right so we can now print basic math operations let's talk about raising something to the power of something so print and so we could say, we know that 3 asterisks 2 is 3 times 2. Now, get, to get 3 to the power of 2, we could use 2 asterisks. And that's saying 3 to the power of 2 is 3 times 3, which would give us 9. So save it, refresh, run it, and 9.0. I'm going to clear that. And let's say we wanted 3 to the third power. 3 asterisk asterisk 3 should give us 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. Reload, run, and we get 27.0, right? All right, let's talk about some built-in math functions. So Haskell has some built-in math functions we can use, and to use those, okay, we're going to keep our parentheses for print here, and one of those functions is square root, so S-Q-R-T, and we're inside a square root here. We're going to put 36. So the square root of 36 should give us 6, right? Because 6 times 6 is 36. So let's save that, make sure it works, and then we'll talk about why it's working. So when GHCI, reload it, play, and it gives us 6.0. Now let's talk about why that works. So a square root, I said, is a built-in function, right? So we feed something to square root. In this case, it's 36. So we say, hey, let's take 36, the number, and give it to square root, and that'll get the square root of it for us, which will give us 6. And then we say, hey, we want to print that 6. So anything in these parentheses for print happens first. So we get the square root of 36. And again, you could add parentheses around the 36 also. It makes no difference. Um, for this. So square root 36, it takes that first and gives a 6, and then it prints that 6 to the console, which is what we saw here. So that's square root. Let's talk about uh, three other built-in math functions. The first one would be round. Um, and in middle school math class or something like that, you talked about rounding, maybe even elementary. And so let's say we had like 3.6. Okay, we know 3.6, it's higher than 5, so it's 3.5, so it's going to round up to 4.0, right? So if we print round 3.6, round's another built-in function. So we feed this to round, and it gives us 4.0, and then we say we want to print the result of this whole thing, which was 4.0. So save it. Head over here, I'm going to clear it, reload and run, and we get 4, right? So it rounded up to 4 for us. Now, let's say we had like 3.4, right? That should round down to 3. Let's make sure that works. Save, reload, run, and we get 3. The last two built-in functions we want to talk about are floor and seal. So we're going to replace round with floor. And floor takes a decimal number, and it always rounds it down to the nearest integer. So if we had like 3.9 or 3.999 or 3.2, no matter what it is, it's going to round it down to 3. 
Um, if we had like 4.9, it's going to round it down to 4. So floor, right, we feed 3.9 to floor, rounds it down to 3, and then we print the result of that. Control S to save. Let's go over to our WinGHCI, reload, and run it. And you're going to see we get 3. Now there's an opposite function to floor, which is called ceiling. So C-E-I-L-I-N-G. We could say ceiling 3.9, and it's going to round it up to 4. It's always going to round the decimal up to the next integer. So if we had 3.1 or 3.0001, it's still going to round it up to 4, right? It's going to take the decimal and always round up to the next integer. So let's say 3.2. So 3.2 gets fed to ceiling. We get 4 out of it, and then we print 4. Save it reload and run and you're going to see we get four. So that's uh, some basic introduction to numbers and math functions in Haskell. Let's go on to the next thing.